dog, come, 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 good dog, come. Well, okay, it's October 7th. I'll have to shut the house back there. You know, it's just the way it's been for me this year. I was rolling the Tacticam, running down that ridge, and I just shut it off. And I got a double flush right next to me. The dog didn't flush, and the dog was on the, the right side of me, and those birds both flushed from my left. Stay here. And then I uh, called her back to me, and of course, then she picked up scent and flushed a third bird, um, and I wasn't ready for that. We are gonna hit the little woodcock spot here. That was kind of the reason I came into this stuff to initially here. Um, this is off trail, by the way. Um, there's not a trail that runs through here, so again, that is our, that's actually our fourth flush of the day. We flushed one right back at the trail before I, before I left it, but we are gonna go down. We're gonna hit this old beaver pond, and I'm, I'm gonna guess there's woodcock here. We had some heavy, heavy northwest winds this week, so, Unless it blew everything out of the state and hasn't brought us any Canadian birds yet, um, there should be birds down here. So once I get there, I'm going to try to run the Tacticam, and I'm going to try to get all these flushes on film if I can. Um, it's kind of cloudy, but it's starting to get partly cloudy, and that sun just a minute ago was popping out. So I'm going to do my best to keep the sun um, behind me so I'm not looking into it. But uh, we'll see what happens here. I expect we should be able to get three woodcock out of this spot. There's the first one. Come, girl. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? Good dog. Good dog. Oh, that did not take long. One shot, one woodcock. Actually, we're two for two today. I've fired two shots and I got a girl and a woodcock, so. Hopefully we can keep a hot streak going here, but uh, I haven't even actually got to the spot where I was going to get into the woodcock here and got one flush already. So I got a feeling in the next hundred yards or so here, we're going to flush some birds. Here. Come on back here. Good dog. Good dog. Come. Good dog. Come. Get over there. All right, guys, we're to the end of that first leg of the trail. <clears throat> and I knew my hot streak couldn't continue. Um, I had an amazing weekend last Sunday and ended up with my limit of both woodcock and grouse. And that does not happen very often. I have gotten double limits. That's only the third time in my life. Many, many times I've got three woodcock and four grouse or five grouse and two woodcock, but a double limit's hard to do. So just in case you think that's a, a normal thing up here, it's not a normal thing at all. Um, I'll give you my little tip for the week here. This is one of the hardest weekends to hunt with a flushing dog, in my opinion. Because the last three weekends, the cover's been thick. The dog can't see much. You can't see much. The dogs tend to stay close. They just naturally do because they can't see. The cover is really dropped. Um, I mean, you can still see there's some leaves on the trees, but back in the woods, it's pretty open. That and the fact that this is now the fourth weekend in a row that Nala has been hunting. She is in phenomenal shape and she wants to go. She's been kenneled all week. She wants to go. So I have to work this weekend at keeping her close. The two biggest things you can do is number one, stay on your whistle. Don't get lazy as a hunter. That dog will go back in the woods and she'll come out you know, about 15 yards in front of me. If I let her go straight across the trail and then she loops out again, the next time she comes out of the woods, she's out of range. If she bumps a girl sitting on the trail up there, that, that's gonna cost us birds. So when your dog comes out, force her to come all the way back to you. Um, that'll keep your dog in range all day. Um, and then that just is the other thing. They'll get back and just walk by one right here. Um, you see, there's just like a little open lane back there. Sometimes your dog will hit those and just go. And again, next thing you know, she's coming out 40 yards up the trail, out of range. So stay on your whistle. That's your job as the dog handler. Your, 
your job as the dog owner, as a hunter, is to keep your dog in range. If you've done your job training your dog, she's going to be obedient. He's going to be obedient. Um, when I blow the whistle, Nala comes. If she doesn't, I get on her. Um, she is a very soft dog. You may have noticed I don't run a shock collar on her. I don't beat or hit or kick my dog. But if I get angry, I give her the angry voice. I holler. I force her to come all the way back to me. And she comes back to me with her tail between her legs. And she knows it. And I tell her, too far. And then I send her back out. That's all it takes with Nala. I'm aware she's a very good dog. And that's not all it takes for some dogs. Some dogs you might have to run a shock collar on. Um, or be a little harsher on your dog. I don't have to do that with my dog, luckily. Um, just kind of luck of the draw. Sometimes the dog you get... But as a dog owner, when these woods start opening up, your dog is going to want to run. You got to work to keep them close. And if you've done the obedience, if you've done the foundation work, even if it's your dog's first year in the woods, you should be able to keep them nice and close. Um, flush count here. The first trail we're on, we have now flushed six or seven grouse. And I was saying my hot streak ended. I had a beautiful one come right across the trail and I gave it both barrels and I did not touch it. So um, you're going to get hot in the grouse woods and you're going to get humbled in the grouse woods. And that's just the way it is when you're wing shooting. So we're going to keep at it. There's a little leg here like off trail that I'm going to loop around and then I'll pop back out on the trail a couple hundred yards up. So let's do it. See what happens. I miss that. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Fetch that bird up. Good dog. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, we got one. I tell you, I missed the last five. And you are not a true grouse hunter unless you've gone into the woods with heavy pockets full of shells and came out of the woods with very few shells. Um, not a very big one, a little red. Um, but I will tell you, there's been a lot of debate going on about this whole ground swatting grouse. No, come here. Shooting them on the wing. You know, as a guy who was born and raised in northern Minnesota, I will tell you that when I was a kid... I did not know a single person that shot birds intentionally flying. You know, you'd shoot at birds flying, but if people had a chance, they shot them on the ground. Um, that was just the way it was. It, honest to God, wasn't until I was in college and me and a buddy went to a rough grouse banquet and I had a guy tell me that, you know, I don't shoot any birds on the ground. And we were just kind of like, why? And he, you know, he explained it wasn't sporting. You know, he'd walk at them until they flush, shoot them flying. Um, and so, yeah, I was probably close to 20 years old before I even knew that that was a thing. Um, and then obviously when you're hunting with the dogs, shooting birds on the ground is just not safe. Um, but what I will say, uh, either way, I don't care how you hunt grouse. Hunting grouse is a ton of fun. If you're out riding trails and shooting them on the ground, that's fine. Um, if you're out with a dog, you're shooting them on the wing, that's great too. But I will tell you the excitement of shooting a bird on the wing. I have never like put my gun in the air, fist pumped, let out a holler on a bird I shot sitting on the ground. But when you flush a bird back in this stuff and you get on it and you swing and you knock that bird down, there is probably not a better feeling in the world. <laughs> Hot. <sighs> well, there's the first miss on the woodcock. <laughs> that bird came right back at me. Landed five steps from me. And as I turned to try to get ready, it jumped right back up. I got my gun tangled up in this stuff, and it flew. That bird was cooking, let me tell you. Woodcock don't generally fly, you know, as fast as a grouse, but... That one was moving, and I missed. Pretty good woodcock habitat in here.
What do you got there? What do you got there, Hayden? Did you shoot another grouse? Yeah. Let me see. Good job, buddy. Okay. How many grouse have you got this year? Four. Four? Wow. Bring them up here. What you got, Grayson? Bring it up here. Hold it by the feet. Oh, that's a big one. Is it a mountain? Let's see it. You just flop and just hold his leg real tight. That's what my grouse did. That's, that's what your... That's what Grandpa's grouse did. Oh. That's what Grandpa's grouse did. Show me what you got, Grayson. Is that your first one that you've pulled the trigger on? Yeah. Yeah? Good job, pal. Well, here we are. We made it back. Me and Nala ended up with three today. And then I had to bring, bring big brother over to uh, over to his girlfriend's house. And then me and the little boys went out. And they each shot their own bird. So we got five grouse for the day, one woodcock. And I guess that's a pretty good Saturday. So we will see you Maybe in the woods tomorrow for Sunday. What do you think, Aiden? Good. Oh, I'm going to tell you, if you're up in northern Minnesota, Bland and Paper Company used to be some of the best woods to hunt on. And quite frankly, it kind of sucks now what they do I don't know how well all this shows up on camera but we're standing in the edge of just the most beautiful age aspen and they're doing this to all of their land now they come in and they just thin it out right to the point where it doesn't hold grouse it's an absolute disaster to walk through and then they come through and they plant spruce in it and uh you know, I guess it's good for doubling their output, right? They get the aspen and they get the spruce, but it is it is garbage for grouse hunting. I uh, walked into this spot because I could see the tops of these trees from a distance, and I said, "Wow, that looks beautiful." And then this is this is what I find when I get down here: is everything is just hacked down. It's a disaster to walk through. So we're gonna just make a little loop. There's a wet spot here. Maybe we'll flush a woodcock, but. Yeah, if you if you do run into this kind of stuff and you're thinking that you found the perfect age aspen, um, it's not really worth your time to hunt. All right, guys, we're back and uh, ended up with three fully mature, beautiful reds. But I'm going to tell you, I should have been at my limit. Um, <laughs> I'm out of bullets. I have no bullets left in my shell vest. Um, I got into the woodcock thick. We got one. I don't know. I just could not hit him today. And I know what I was doing. I was shooting behind him. I was shooting under him. I wasn't getting up on the front of the bird. And I knew I was doing it. And I just kept doing it. Um, I also missed a handful of grouse. Um, probably should have had two of the grouse that I did shoot at. So very, very well could have been back with my limit of both grouse and woodcock. Um, without question, woodcock. I they're down they're thick and they must have been sitting for a couple of days here because they were up and out um usually when you get them in the middle of the migration you get those real light flushes where they'll flush up they'll land they'll flush up they'll land the birds i was flushing they were taking off um but absolutely gorgeous birds what i'll probably do i'm just gonna add this um to the end of my my video from yesterday i'll give you a little video montage of me today and you can see lots of misses you can see a few a few that i got and uh i don't know uh, my son's hockey starts this week he has tryouts next weekend um, i'm hoping to get out for a couple short hunts next weekend but uh this might be it for for a good week here before i can get out uh, and put any time in the woods again but i guess that's a good way to end it it's just frustrating when the dog does her job and you don't shoot so well because I did not shoot so well today. All right, we'll catch you out there in the woods. Oh, there we got it. Got it on the second shot. 
Come on, girl, fetch it up. Good dog, good dog, come. Well, I found a woodcock anyway. I found this back corner that they they have not thinned out. So <laughs> I don't exactly know where I am. I've been walking for a little while. I had pretty pretty good confidence that I can get back to the trail here. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this around since it hasn't been destroyed yet by the paper company. So let's see what we find. Ah, oh, behind it. Oh, we are bumping the woodcock, but you want to talk about thick in here. And I'm slipping on moss-covered logs as I'm trying to shoot. Uh, I've got one, but I've missed three. That last one I should have had, I just couldn't get, couldn't get spun around and get on it. So I'm going to shut the camera off. We're going to keep at it. Oh. It's been a tough morning. We finally got one here. Big, beautiful red. And if you look, we kind of hit this transition running into this little swamp and that bird was right out on the trail. We got, we got lucky we got one. It's been a tough morning. I put, uh, I, I'm getting close to three hours of walking in this morning and um, missed two grouse, missed a handful of woodcock, but uh, I did get one woodcock and we got one grouse, so. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I think we're going to drive up the road. We're going to turn around. Um, and I do have another spot I'm going to walk. But hey, man, put in the time for one bird this morning. And sometimes that's the way it rolls. But uh, we're not going home empty-handed. So good deal. Oh, we end up getting another one. Beautiful, beautiful red. And I don't know if you can see, even in through his ruffles, he's very very brown, very red. Um, I came up and parked here. <laughs> we drove by that bird on the main trail and same thing, got back with Nala, slipped back to it and that bird went and I shot two quick shots at it. And I don't know if I hit it on the first shot or the second shot, but it went down, Nala went back and got it. And uh, yeah, that's our second bird on the morning. Probably should be our third bird, but uh, um, anyway, here we are. We got two girls, we got one woodcock. We got another spot we need to get back and walk. Been just seeing a ton of vehicles. Almost all the trails have vehicles on them. Um, so yeah, we, we gotta get, get where there's a, a spot off trail where me and the dog can get back in and walk. But hey, we got two birds, that's not a bad day. Might've got that one. Might've got that girl. Maybe not. Come on girl, fetch that bird up. Too far out, babe. Too far out. Right there. Right there. Good dog. Good girl. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm starting to wonder if I was even gonna put this video out because I'm almost out of bullets. I think I have five shells left. I had a solid box of shells to start the morning. I can't hit the woodcock today. I, I normally am money on woodcock. I don't know what to say. I just cannot get on the birds. And it's crazy thick cover as far as, you know, the stem count of the stuff I'm in. Um, I pulled up on one and went to swing my gun up with it and just hit a hit a tree. And I, I feel like I'm behind them. I'm under them. I'm just not getting through the bird to shoot. So, I don't know. We got our third grouse here anyway, which I guess that's a victory. I thought I got the gray. Uh, the gray flushed straight away and I shot and the trees just blew up all around it it must have banked i must have been behind it because nala was right on it so we're gonna walk up and just make sure i didn't get that gray one too there was a gray and a red sitting together um but man alive i can't believe i could have been a double so we'll walk up and see but nala ran right through so unless she ran past it which usually doesn't happen i might have a gray lane up here but i don't know i'm gonna guess it was a miss <laughs> Here!
Oh, here. 